Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to add Favicon as a plugin for your Shopify store online to deal with cart abandonments or failed purchases and so on. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account as an administrator. So it's what I have here. Here's what our dashboard looks like. And the idea here is we would need to get access to our Shopify online store or the app store to add the plugin. So there are a couple of ways to get there. You guys could either click on the search bar like so. And from here, just type Favicon like so. And this should take you us to the app store, showing us all of these search results that tie in with Favicon. Or we could do it the easy way and click on the drop down for apps like so and go to the app and sales channel settings where we would have to the option to click on Shopify App Store. So when we go to click on this, uh, we'll be redirected, or I should say, um, it'll actually open a new tab showing us a store where we have the option to install all of these compatible plugins and integrations to our Shopify. So from here, if you don't see Favicon right away, what you would want to do is click on the search bar like so, and just type Favicon just like that. And you'll see that um, here's what we're looking for. So um, the one that we want to opt for is this one right here. So Favicon tab animation. So there are actually two versions of this, but this one is more credible. So we're going to click on it. And what's going to happen is that this is going to take us to their store page where we have the option to install it. So the description goes, call back your customers that left your stores tab to another one without uh, with a blinking Favicon tab animation. So it'll actually notify you and uh, Fav uh, Favicon allows you to convert inactive users uh, to conversions, to sales, and recover abandoned carts and customers with unique Favicon animations that will draw back their attention to your store. So that's pretty cool. So the idea here is we would simply click on install and authorize it to integrate with our Shopify store. So let's actually wait for this to load real quick. Here we are. Click on install, just like that. And basically let Shopify work its magic to integrate with our store. So it goes without saying that some of them will be um, paid services and some will um, have free trials. And uh, that's pretty cool, but it goes without saying that the paid ones will come with more um, features, while the free ones will come with just the fundamentals that you need to actually get the app up and running. So here we are. You can utilize this to um, turn cart abandonments or failed purchases into conversions. So yeah, there you guys have it. That's how you can add Favicon as a plugin to your Shopify store. So thank you for watching the video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So once again, we'll see. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.